Samoa, a small island in the Pacific known for its natural beauty and beautiful people. But in recent weeks, many of the radiant smiles have been replaced by deep sadness and despair. For almost a month, Samoa has been in a state of emergency as a deadly measles outbreak devastates the nation. Going into the hospital it added another element, you know, I guess another layer of, of, of emotions. I haven't been back to Samoa for 10 years. You know, it was such a kind of sad experience to, especially our country, to go through a measles epidemic, you know. And seeing the kids that are there that they have the measles, not being sure of what the outcome is going to be for those kids is, is really, really hard. This is the serious room. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's good. The fever's gone down. The markings on hers are coming down. That's good. I'm definitely one to really suppress it, but there it was really hard to understand the amount of pain that the, the children are going through, and let alone their, their parents not knowing what will happen. You know, it might be another, another one added to the death toll. <sighs> More than 5,000 people in Samoa have contracted this deadly virus that has now claimed more than 70 lives. Most of those are children under the age of five. Those numbers are heartbreaking, but it's not until you're out in these small villages when you start to see the devastating impact this outbreak has had on those who have lost loved ones. It really did hit home, uh, especially being a father as well. When, um, I just couldn't imagine uh, the unbearable pain uh, that they had to uh, go through you know, bearing their children. Uh, it's three years old. I'm very sad. And I think she will, will go to heaven. We are very sad. Uh, all of the time we cry and we miss them because we lost uh, two people in my family. You know, I've got three boys. If that was me and my wife, you know, just I don't know what we'd do. It's really heartbreaking, and it, um, you know, I actually find it really hard to find the words to, to explain the emotions uh, within um, going through village to village. We spoke to a, a good friend of ours, Nathan, here at Tommy Sina Island Resort. Asked him a question whether he's, he's in or not uh, in helping out Sam Warm. Came back with a yes, and uh, it all came together within a week. Uh, with the NRL community coming together, uh, the wider community, uh, everyone globally, I guess, we had people from the UK that wanted to contribute, and we honestly couldn't believe it. It hasn't only brought rugby league together, but it's brought a country together and, and some of the biggest names in the country here for a great cause. Yeah, it, look, it, it was truly phenomenal to see uh, Tofinga <laughs> and, and his wife and Martin Onu, the former All Black, to all jump on board. It's not about what code you play, what sport or what profession. You know, for us it's not about being rugby league union or, or entertainer, it's about being sons of Samoa. I think for all of us, we just wanted to bring smiles to their faces, knowing that uh, Christmas is coming up, you know, and just wishing them Merry Christmas. We love Samoa very much and we love our people. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and uh, I hope the, our beautiful children here in, in Samoa will, will enjoy our gifts. It was truly breathtaking. Every positive emotion um, was flowing through me, seeing those faces. They absolutely loved that um, we were there, that we were thinking of them. I give thanks for all of your NRL and the Red Cross and all of the boys from the rugby team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I love you. The kids that are out in the rural areas of Samoa, all they see is uh, just faces on TV and it's changed a lot of kids' lives. And those memories in the villages, 
when it will be forgotten. It's on my TV. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, going to the office and uh, meeting the PM of Samoa. Uh, it was amazing to be acknowledged uh, for the work that we have done here. Spending our time here in Samoa, it was great to see the, the spirits of our people you know, lift and every day they're, they're trying to overcome this, this epidemic and they thrive in, in moments like this and it's all because of their spirit, their inner spirit, their faith in God and that's where it starts and that, that's where it stops with their faith in God because they, they can do everything through the, the strength of God and they will definitely overcome uh, this terrible epidemic here in Samoa.